I mean, who's your favorite character in this? Oh, me. That's a hard question, but I gotta go with Nigel Tufnell. Mm hmm Okay. I mean, Christopher Guest is, like, so good in this. Like, I can't even believe it, because... Again, like, I loved Princess Bride, and I had seen it already a bunch of times, and I knew this was, like, the Six-Fingered Man. Yeah. And then I turn around, and it's this guy, Nigel Tufnell, and he just really kind of disappears into it. His accent is really strong, so I never don't believe that he's, like, English. Yeah. He plays music amazingly well. Yeah. And he does that weird solo with the violin. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of based off of, like, the musicians who would, like, use a different things, like a bow, a, like, of a violin, but he just uses the violin. Yeah, he just uses the violin against the guitar, if I'm not mistaken, Yeah, right? he does. He just picks up the violin and plays it against it, and it sounds horrendous. Oh, yeah. But it it's, it's really funny. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I gotta go with him. I mean, everybody in it is great, but he's just so in character. To me, he's the one who makes you think that this is a real thing. Like, he's the one who kind of takes all of the mockumentariness out of it. And, of course, like, he went on to do other mockumentaries himself. Yeah. And he's, they're some of my favorite movies as well. I mean, I know we're gonna talk about these movies waiting for guffman oh yeah um the best in show yes um these for your consideration is mm -hmm. not a mockumentary but it's kind of st that style and he did that too so but i i just they're so good they're so good and he's always like so in character yeah he disappears that you just kind of don't even think about it and and i just think that that kind of talent is pretty impressive to me. It, yeah, he is so impressive. And I have to agree with you. Just in terms of, of sheer talent, I'm mesmerized watching him. I can't believe that this is the same guy from Best in Show that had the Bloodhound. Yeah. I can't believe that. And that's the same guy that was in The Princess Bride? Yeah. How is this? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. My favorite character, though, I would have to say, I'd have to say Marty DeBerge, Rob yeah. Reiner. You know, because Rob Reiner, you know, he is the director and, you know, I, I've directed things in the past and like, you know, it's like you just you, you bring yourself out there to talk about what you've done and you just become like self-conscious in this really bizarre way because you have the confidence of being a director, yet you're still self-conscious. And, you know, Marty DeBerge, you know, introduces the, the rockumentary and he's just walking around the set, and he's completely in control. And then he just goes, and he folds his arms, and he instantly hates it. And then he just, like, breaks and just puts them back down. It's completely awkward, but it made me just, like, fall in love with it. Because it's so vulnerable, and it's so honest. Well, it's so real, too, that you're a director, and you're not used to being in front of the camera. Yes. So you're uncomfortable, like, in front of the camera. Yes. But he's a great character, because he's also kind of the heart of things because he's the fan, too. And he's so caring in all the interviews. Yeah. He always is very honest. He's got he's got a real base for all of them to jump off of. Yeah. Well, and he really supports the band, and he really wants to see them happy and doing well. And when they end up kind of having Nigel kind of just walk off because he can't deal with it anymore about, you know, three-quarters of the way through... He's kind of just like, don't you want to get back together? Like, this is your friend, you know, and he really wants them to succeed. Oh, yeah. And that's a really nice thing. I love that about that character. I do, too. I, I think that, I think he is the greatest. And then we read some trivia that he was actually going to be one of the band members at one point. Yeah, and I just, I'm glad that it didn't work out in a way, because I feel like this way of him being Marty DeBerge is perfect. Agreed. No one could have done what no, he did. No way. No one could have done it. And again, when you talk about, you know, his name being like an homage to all these these huge directors, you know, at the time, uh, that even makes it better to me. Because, you know, you think about, you know, the, these big time people coming out and just being a little awkward. Yeah. It's just a little. That's what's so good about it. It's just a little, but you see it. And, and yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. He, I, I mean, I'm sure he would have been hilarious and wonderful as a band member, too. Oh, yeah. But I just feel like this 
other thing. Like, I just don't think anybody else would have been able to do it as well as him. No, and I think that him being the director makes so much sense because, you know, he came from Carl Reiner. Yeah. And then he has, like, all these years of writing experience. And comedy chops for yes. miles. And he knows what's funny. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's always there to keep everything kind of grounded, which is also funny. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the funniness that you can't really have, like, these big things without having, like, that base that no. keeps everything super real. Mm -hmm. And he just is a champ at that. He's perfect. And, and I mean, he's hot off of All in the Family. I think All in the Family is done at that point, too, where he was, you know, a big actor in that. Yeah, I mean... Wow. I mean, this, that's... Rob Reiner. dude is bomb. This is why we're doing a rampage. Yeah, we're rampaging with Rob Reiner. <laughs> Or Rob Runner Rampage. <laughs>